part of the promo team for Robocop 2024 is a very famous robot, the uh, Spot Platform by Boston Dynamics. Very impressive equilibrium. But can we play robot football with Spot? Short answer, no. <laughs> Because it's a completely closed platform. It was not designed to change the locomotion skills. You can build applications on top of it, but only applications that are not changing the locomotion skills. So you cannot play soccer because Spot was not designed to play soccer. And also, uh, object avoidance is very hard-coded in the core of Spot to avoid objects such as the ball, and you cannot overrule it. So all the small obstacles on the ground are Per definition, avoided, always. Objects in front of spot can be avoided or can not be avoided. That's, that's optional for the user. But on the ground, it's, it's yeah, compulsory that spot will also try, always try to avoid those. Completely sealed off in the software, uh, not, to be, not hackable. It's compiled code. You cannot change it. But luckily enough, other developers have seen this quadruped uh, robots and what they can do and they have developed uh, platforms that you can use. Yes indeed and one of them is the platform the Mini Cheetah uh, designed by uh, MIT completely open source in hardware and software so there we can actually change even the low level locomotion skills of the Mini Cheetah itself which is great if you want to play soccer. We have a cheetah right here. If you want it to bump into objects, you can make it bump into objects. Uh, you can, can you make it kick a ball and give it direction to a ball? So that's something that we are going to develop in the coming year. The soccer skills that you need uh, to be able to dribble, to kick the ball, to make all kinds of motions that you will typically want to do in soccer play. How long until we see this kind of robot in an official robot football match? I hope next year. And the reason that, I, that it is such a short term is that already there have been efforts being made in the world in different research groups that show that uh, the Mini Cheetah is perfectly able to be a goalkeeper, to dribble with the ball. It's not perfect. We will try to make it better, but hopefully next year we will have a mixed team here in the Robocup competition where, for instance, there is a Cheetah goalkeeper or a Cheetah player combined with the real robots that we have been playing with for the last decade. Of course, the goal of Robocop is to have a humanoid robot in the year 2050 that can beat the human world champions in football. How does this help us to get to the humanoid robot? Well, the motion of a mini cheetah is so much more human-like and also intrinsically safe. If you bump into a mini cheetah, you will not get harmed because you just get the, the mass of a leg against yourself. So it will not harm you. Uh, so it's a very natural type of motion and in the path towards 2050 uh, it's a great opportunity now to start developing the skills for these quadruped robots and then there is a natural path to having the mini cheetahs rise up going to standard position because the joints of the mini cheetah can go both ways so actually it can already almost mimic a human maybe only we have to add the the hip joint yeah. But it's an open hardware design, so we can change it. We will add that in the near future. So maybe the football robots will go from four legs to two legs, just like humans in evolution. It's the evolution in a very short time. <laughs> then I think you should start with um, fish robots and then get out of the water first. Let's see. <laughs> I really hope to see these kind of quadruped robots uh, playing a soccer game really soon, hopefully already in Eindhoven 2024.